I'll do a video on it. <sighs> Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers. And in this episode, we're going to take a quick little look at a uh, nice little job lot I've just picked up. Um, there's about four or five machines there, a strimmer, um, a cylinder mower, I think. Uh, bearing in mind, all of these machines have been picked up from a contact, which I, I have. And these were already in uh, a landfill uh, recycling center. So these were only destined to go to one place and that is uh, full of crusher and full of scrap heap. Um, so these machines have been pulled out of there. So hopefully um, they'd be okay. The high risk of buying from this contact is that lots of machines are deemed as terminal and uh, you know, they may be no good at all. So we'll have a look at those, see what's, um, see what's occurring. Hopefully we can put some petrol in and try and diagnose a few faults. I might do some engine swaps and bits and pieces or whatever. But pretty much 99% of these machines, they're not running as they should be or uh, there's something terminally wrong and that's why they've ended up at this, this location. Um, and then this bloke's then gone in, picked them up from the refuse site and then he then sells them on as either spares or repair as is a non-running concern. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out this little job lot from the recycling centre. Okay, so here they are. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six mowers and a strimmer. Um, I didn't pay a great deal for these. I paid, I paid a little bit, but not a massive amount. The first one is a, a very old uh, Flymo um, mower. I can't, uh, the engine date is um, the 24th of the 5th, 89. So this is um, 1989, this one. Uh, flat top Briggs on it, Quantum 35. Um, handles seem better days, that one's a bit of work. Um, let's see if the machine pulls over. Literally, I don't get the chance to uh, to do anything with these. Literally. Um, yeah, it pulls over. Pull cord's a bit sloppy. I don't get the chance to inspect any of these. It's literally just buy it as it is. And um, what you see is what you get, pretty much. The next one is a 470 uh, Mountfield 2004 model. Power drive. Uh, the drive could be working because it, it locks off when you engage with drive. It pulls, but there's a clonking noise. Hear that? The next one is um, a Viking um, 2008, and it is the MB545 uh, Quantum on top again. This has got power drive on it, but it's back to front. So dead man's handles that way, drives that way. Drive doesn't seem to be working on this one uh, as of yet. Does it pull over? Yeah, there's a bit of compression there. Enough to start it, I would say. So that's good. The next one is a Decumse uh, Flymo, 21 inch. Um, got a date on here. Have a little look. Made in England, but the engine will be made in Italy, no doubt. Uh, can't distinguish the date on it. Oh, there you go, there's a date there, I think, no, possibly. Uh, 1978, I think. Um, I may be wrong. This is a Flymo L470 uh, with a Decumpsy engine on top. Let's see if that pulls over. It's got a dead man on it. Oh yeah, kick back a little bit then too. A lot of compression on there, that's good. Now yeah, Ken, small engines, that's for you, buddy. I'm going to break it down and post it to you. Really didn't want it, but uh, I see it there. And the, the good thing is with this one, it's actually in really good nick. The deck is really good. Um, so we should see, that runs on 25 to 1. The next is a um, cylinder mower. Again, Decumpsy engine on it. Um, uh, Suffolk Punch. Um, year of manufacture on this one. Uh, nine, it looks like 1918, uh, 1998 on this one. It is missing the bar that holds the um, grass box on. So I need to find one of those if I can't get it to run. I have noticed when I got it off the van, you can pull it backwards, but it doesn't want to run forwards um, without doing something. So it's not, not quite right there. Um, but compression. Yeah, it's compression there. Not a great deal, but there's a little bit. The next one is a Mountfield 414. Uh, no date stamp on this one, I have to find it off the engine. Um, uh, I thought this was just a push mower at first, but actually it's got a drive cable there and the drive 
doesn't actually engage. So I need to put a new handle on the back. And again, plenty of compression on that one. So I'm happy with that. And then we have also got uh, this little one, which I quite, quite like the look of this. A little multi-tool mount field, um, an MT2801J. Uh, it's a combi one. It doesn't come with any other attachments, but I can probably make some attachments up for that from the Titan stuff I've got. Uh, two stroker and plenty of compression. Easy start pull cord and what have you. So that's good. So let me get some petrol. I need to mix up some two stroke for that. Uh, that would be 25 to one. So I'll do that in a bit. Let me mix some petrol up and then um, get some plain fuel, put them in these machines and see if they don't run. All these machines have got no fuel in them full stop. That's why you can't test them. Because they've been to a cycling center, they always have the, um, particularly the petrol taken out. Just double check the oil because some companies take the oil out as well. So just be mindful if you're going to start them straight up when you get them out in, into the yard, they may not have no oil in them either. So just double check that. Just going to get some petrol. And all I want to do is just put a smidgen of petrol in each of the four strokes. So I'll do that now. So the tanks are absolutely bone dry. I don't want to put a lot in, just enough just to wet the whistles. To see if uh, I've bought a bunch of lemons or in fact, I have actually bought some machines that are serviceable. Don't forget, you know, you're basing this on the opinion that the members of the public have thrown them out because they're deeming was no good. So a bit of water in this one. I don't want to put too much fuel in because the chances are they all have to be drained for carburetor cleans and, and bits and pieces. So just put a little tiny bit in each, bone dry again. Spilling it. That's a Viking. The um, fly may be 25 to 1. I'll go and mix some up in a minute. Ooh, can't tip that up. I'm just going this way with it. So all I'm doing is just put enough fuel enough fuel in here just to just to wet the whistles. I shan't do the uh, <coughs> the mount field because that'd be a separate mix. But the mount field um, strimmer looks actually really, really good. It whoop, doesn't look um, as if it's done a lot of work. So let me go and mix up some um, two-stroke fuel for the Flymo, 25 to 1. And I'll come back when I've done that. Right, I put a bit of um, 40 to 1 in the old mount field um, strimmer. And spare bit left over. Just mixed up some 25 to 1 for the um, Decumpsy Flymo. There's no fuel in here, it's bone dry. So it is 25 to 1. Let's have a bit of a mix. Let's put some of that in there. So none of these have been pulled over at all. I'll put quite, quite a bit in there. Because it's a very high risk, this has been run on the wrong fuel type. So, we shall see. So 25 to 1 goes into there. Let's just check your oil status. That's well over filled by the looks of it. Oh, that was stiff. Uh, next to no oil in the mount field. The old flat top. Yeah, all in the flat top, uh, overfilled by the looks of it. So generally, you know, rule of thumb is when people um, have a machine that fails, what they generally do is they just put oil in it, um, just to see if, if, if chucking oil in would be a, would be the miracle cure. Uh, but all on the on the RS100 mount field 414 is absolutely bang on the mark. Okay, so we've got all in most of the engines. Let's, um, I'll get a bit of carburetor spray as well and some spanners to see if they start, fire and what have you. So let me put the petrol back and get a selection of spark plug spanners. Okay, I've got a selection of tools here. So these are gonna be just initial fire ups. So let's start with them, this Flymo. So it's quite an old girl, 19, 1989 was it I said. It's got NGK spark plug in it. 
Um, I don't know if it's got a power drive or what that's all about. That could be a power drive thing. Seems to be seized. It says it's got a roller on it as well. Yeah, there's a little roll on the back. Um, so let's put it on to choke. The throttle seems to be working. Let's give that a pull, see what happens. That fired. But then again, you know, it's overfilled of all, I believe. Yeah, it's okay. Very smoky. But it runs. So that goes through a run pile. Uh, probably want to service. And bits and pieces. Oh, it's a bit smoky. Let's try this one. Little Mountfield 470 SP. These sell really well. Lots of things loose on here. Now I did notice it had a clunking noise underneath. Could be a bent crank. Could also just be that belt cover has snapped off. Maybe that's a thing. So if it starts, I'm not going to um, run it for too long. Just want to hear it fire up. It's priming. <laughs> Oh, hear that? Yeah, that starts and runs. Um, I'm not going to go too mad of it because it is um, hitting something, so I don't do more damage than good, you know? So that's okay. Uh, let's do a little strimmer next. I'll put some fuel in there. Uh, turn that on. Uh, choke would be a good thing. Choke it. Prime it. I'm getting fuel. I'm getting fuel. Oh, we've got a hose. The hose is broken on the inlet. Just there, uh, you can see that the hose is broken. So that's never going to fire. Um, let's put a bit of carb spray in it. That's never going to work if uh, if it's um, got a broken fuel line on it. Let's, uh, Check the fuel status on that. Oh, what's that on there? That's a bit big. That's a bit big, Mick. So I'm going to put a little bit of carb spray down the head. Just enough. It's got a torch plug in it. An L8. RTC plug that's quite good actually. It doesn't look very old at all. And this is a 2014 model um, strimmer, so it's not that old. All the threads aren't very good. <laughs> the time I get it in there, carb spray is going to be dissolved or evaporate. Well, I don't see nothing. Try and nick that up. Just want the fire. And we can send it in. For, we can send it in the old shop for repair a bit later on. Threads aren't very good. That's it. Oh, let's close all that up. Just want that just to fire. Would be good. On the start. Come on, baby. That fired. Good enough. Fires on carburetors um, fuel. Got a bit of a fuel leak now, but uh, as I say, it's um, the fuel hose is broken on it. Uh, Viking, these sell for really good money. Okay, really good money. And in fact, my mate Taffy um, does the same as me in next town over. Funnily enough, I was uh, bidding on this machine against him. Um, we're good mates. We do the same thing. We, we trade parts and. Uh, He's after a hedge cutter and uh, he's coming over tomorrow to pick it up. And uh, I said, I'm going to pick up a Viking up. And he said, yeah, I've, uh, I was bidding on one last night, but someone else got it. And I said, uh, where was that? He told me where it was. I said, yeah, it's me. So I beat him on this one. Um, choke. Dead man, because back to the front. 
but he's a bit low for me. I'm not, not over keen, though, a little bit low for me. You can change the height to a degree. There you go. Got a hunt to it, got carburetor problems. No drive. out a little bit, do a bit of a hunt to it though. Yeah, that's okay. So someone's thrown it out because it's hunting. You know, and they sell for good money. We come back to this. I'm just gonna put this over here out of the way with the Just put that over there out of the way for now. Um, Suffolk Punch. This next, this will bring the camera around a touch. So Suffolk Punch, um, put a bit of fuel in there. Uh, is there a fuel tap on this? No fuel tap. Uh, that fuel smells really stale in that carburetor. So just gonna bring that through. Got a little tiny priming screw at the bottom. Uh, onto choke. I don't want this to do anything other because it won't run back, we won't run forward, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna give us up give us too much stick. A uh, bit of gas. So I need to be ready on the throttle either in case it fires up. Yep, runs. Engine's good. And it's too comfy. Hear that grunching noise. Hear that noise it's making. Drive cogs have had it. Or come adrift. As I say, it's missing a particular part on that. But that's okay. So, so far, one, two, three, four, five bits of kit do, do start. Next is my little favourites. I like these little 414s. Uh, that's Doesn't sound like it's priming. We should stand up for these carburetor issues. I can't hear a prime. Nutter. So let's uh, should be an overhead valve in there. Let's take the plug out of that. Oh, not too much room in there. On my hands, got NGK plug in it. This is the right plug, I think. Overhead valve jobby. Let's have a little look. Yeah, there's like water in there. Yeah, that's not doing anything. Let's do a quick little pull. Just get rid of some of that, wherever that is in there. And let's put a little bit of carb spray down the head, just to try and liven it up. We'll wind that little plug back in, if I can get the HT out of the way. And the oil was good on this. As I say, it's just a little fire up video. And you'll see what's coming up on my channel a bit later on. Oh, that's on. Put the old plug on, the old uh, HT lead. Let's try and fire that. I like these little, these little machines. And now it's got power drive, a bigger bonus. Come on, baby. See the smoke? I saw it. Let me change the plug. Okay, let's change the plug. I see a little tiny puff of smoke then. Now he did have another one of these there, but it was really bad shape. The paintwork was really faded. I'm sort of kicking myself now, I should have picked it up because um spare parts you only wanted about five or four it should have picked it up never mind it might be there next week i might go back to pick it up and uh, have it for spare parts uh, wheel brackets and drive lever drive lever cables right all right let's put that in there see if that makes any difference at all 
just want to hear it fire. That's all we want. Mm -hmm. Timing. I think that's timing issue. It's not even far on carb spray. That's unusual for these. Um, it's not showing. There's a bit of a dink to the deck. So perhaps he has hit something. There's a timing issue on this one. But it did, fire, it did sort of um, fire. I don't think the dead man switch is a problem. No, that's all working. Okay, leave that on beef. There's a bit of smoke coming out. There's a bit of life there. If not, I'll go and pick up that other, the other um, one. Could have a good engine. And if that engine's no good, but I guess it could be timing. Right, this is next. Flymo, 21 inch L470. The Cumpsy engine on top. Uh, I think it's quite an age, this one. Uh, 25 to 1 fuel mix on these. Um, it's bone dry, so let's have a look. Let's put a handle down a smidge on it. I've had one or two of these, and these, these can be pickles. It's got a dead man on it. It's got a choke. Although that choke comes back on itself for some reason. It's got a little foot plate here to put your foot on. Very smoky. Hovering. As it's a two stroke, you want to give it a bit of a run before I bring the rev down. Running. That's a load that I go, so that one's looking at. So that's choke. Dead man works. It's very smoky, but it is two stroke. Um, the throttle is not working as it should do. Uh, but then, as I say, it might have had the wrong fuel mix. Mm, it smells like a bit of water in there too, maybe. Look at that. Slag that off too much. That's doing exactly what it should do, um, which is weird, right? Why would someone throw it away? It is a bit smoky. It is a bit smoky, but uh, someone might have put the wrong fuel mix in. But do you know what? Quite happy. The little Tecumse started straight up, and at the moment needs no work other than the service. Um, chance our service and it won't start but so that all runs um, so I've got one two three four five six machines that run and one machine which is even failing to start but I think that could be a timing issue so super happy so there you go um, six machines running six out of seven do fire and sort of run to a degree um, and one is not even doing anything at all but I did see a little puff of smoke come out of the exhaust which means that we are getting some form of combustion Probably getting spark at the wrong time, could be a timing issue. And the Decumpsy Flymo, my lord, why would you throw that out? I mean, I know it's Decumpsy, right? I know that. Um, 
But the Allen ones, they go for really serious money, serious money, and someone's thrown it out because it's not, because it's running fine. Don't quite get it. Um, I'm gonna have to do a bit more investigation work into it. Maybe it's just because someone just doesn't need it anymore and just got shot of it, could be a thing. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally just gonna tie the handle back on that and uh, fill the tank right up and uh, let it run, just see what happens. It could be a question that someone, as I say, just doesn't need it anymore and got rid of it, but they go for serious money um, in the UK because um, for, the, for the slopes and what have you, they're just effortless in, in, in how you move them around as you saw me swing it around behind my back. Uh, so that's super cool. So seven items which are relatively good, which were in the tip. They were already destined to be crushed and recycled. So, wow, what a thing. And a Viking will go for serious money when that's up and running and other bits and pieces will sell as and when, which is fantastic. So money in the bank. Uh, as I like to call it, so that's super cool. If it's your first time in watching Mixed Mirrors, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be top one done a video or two on my Saturday Wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mirrors. I look forward to the next episode very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy.